This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level Zero NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. Could you hear that? No. Briefly? No. No? You couldn't? No. Okay, that's interesting. I heard fuck all nothing. Fuck all nothing. Man, all right. I remember. <sighs> ah. Well, you all right? Everything okay? Uh, still on my voice. Yep. Can mm -hmm. you still? Okay, thank you. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> this is the kinds of things I prefer a quick response to. <laughs> hey, guys. No, oh, I, I, it's weird. I understood the question, but yes! for some reason I panicked. I understood the question <laughs> and I knew I had to answer very quickly so you didn't have to wait. Okay. And yet. <laughs> no. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I just yeah. entirely panicked. <laughs> just... Like, I, I was just a deer in the headlights there. Like, someone has to answer Luke. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Okay. Uh, oppressive, I'm assuming, but audible. It actually sounds okay. I don't know. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. I'm fine with it. Yeah, sounds okay. great. Great. So it was oddly reasonable. I can hear you. Yeah. I could hear it. Yeah. It do it doesn't help that I'm going through some old messages now because I'm on here, mm -hmm. and I remember it was. Uh, yep. Oh, did we do a sync? Did we do a voice, a vocal sync? I don't know. We, let's do it live. All right, let's do a <laughs> Three, vocal sync. Two, one, sync. sync! Yeah. There you go. All right. Sweet. Uh, yeah, I just remember. It was, I, I didn't do a visual sync. Oh, up right. But, <laughs> no, there we go. I would just give the viewers a glimpse of how that sausage is made, as if they yeah. don't already know. Yeah. It wouldn't be the first time. It certainly won't be the last time. There's a, from October 31st, yep. uh, 2020, yep. I was sitting in my driveway handing out candy, and uh, for, um, you know, it was, there's was Plague Halloween, and uh, yeah. I was- Plague Halloween. Yeah, and I was just sitting in my driveway, drinking straight whiskey and handing out candy. <laughs> That was a good Halloween. That sounds like a good time to me. <laughs> it was awesome. Kids coming around, I'm like, you kids look great. It, who are you? Are you She-Hulk? No. <laughs> what are you going to tell me? No. I, I'm i Oscar the Ground. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Have a Twix. <laughs> have a Twix. I wasn't. I was. I didn't get that sloppy. Fond memories. Oh yeah. I love the Power Rangers. My favorite was Tim. <laughs> Tim. Tim the Power Ranger. <laughs> I mean, you're like one letter off from Tom, which would be short for Tommy, which was the Green Ranger. So. Oh, rip in peace. Rip in peace, Green Ranger. <laughs> it's not funny, you know. It's not. It's not funny that he died. Rip in peace is funny. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on. How's everybody doing? There, there is a distinction between something that isn't funny and something that you shouldn't laugh at. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's true. something that is funny, but you don't want to acknowledge it. Yeah, yeah. Like there are many things that are really truly funny. That you shouldn't laugh at anyway. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, you're right. Oh. Uh, yeah, how's everybody doing today? I don't care about the PCs. I'm asking you guys. How you doing? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I was waiting for them to answer. <laughs> Yeah, me too, actually. I, I was waiting. I, care, I, was, I cared deeply about the PCs. Yeah, I, I was waiting for the PCs to y yell at their devices <laughs> like kids watch, watching Teletubbies <laughs> answering Matt's Through question. Through time and space to answer us in a way that we could comprehend. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Matt and I, like, we're not as, like, weirdly grouchy as we were last time, but our brains are not working right. Like, no. Luke asked at one point while we were setting up the recording if we could hear him. And Matt and I just both panicked. Like, we could hear him, but, like, neither <laughs> one of us answered the question. It's weird. It's weird. That's not normally who we are. 
Normally we're just stampeding over one another to talk, but no, not today. Weird and spacey and timid. <laughs> oh! Okay. Alright, I see what you're doing. You're wasting our time. <laughs> Me? No. <laughs> I don't know what's... I'm not actually, though. I'm, I, I just got a little bit lost. I don't know what's gotten into um, me. I'm sorry. I had to... No, it's all right. This is a thing. Yeah. We're very genuine. Meow. Meow. Yep. Hey, at least you, at least you were on the ball for that one. Yeah. I didn't read No Man. It just didn't have it in me today. That's okay. I didn't really have it in me either. Normally... I just had to get some food, so... Normally, if, like, if somebody... Uh oh Oh, friend of my people, it is always a pleasure to see you. May your mouth be fucked. Wait, that's not what he says at all. May your mouth be <laughs> fucked. I forgot that the pizza makes a pizza music sound. Yeah. <laughs> the inventory icon. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The guard ignores you as he carries out his duties. Good night. He said duty. Wow, you are. Yeah, on there's a... no, there's no plumbing at this century. You gotta carry out your duties. Yep, right on the bridge. Right. Hey, uh, Luke, you seem like you're, uh, you're on a, you're a man on a mission, except for that one little, you yeah. know, port cullis situation. Oh, oh, we're doing it now. Okay, we're out of here. Well, now I'm exiting. Now, I'm now you're going. I need to get, I need to get, grab a pizza you, before we. Yeah, go. you had one fewer pizzas than you needed last time. I get it now. I see what you're... Yeah. I, yeah, now that we got this balloon, everything's a little easier, you know? We can just... Yeah, we don't move a whole lot faster uh, on the overworld, but we do move in a slightly more direct manner. Yeah, which is How good. many people... around things. How many people in history do you guys think have been killed by a falling portcullis? Because it can't be zero. You know? Probably more than you expect. I think a lot of people were probably killed by a falling portcullis on purpose. Yeah, I guess oh, yeah, it sure. may be worth asking uh, deliberately versus accidentally. Yeah. Like, I was just thinking, I don't I don't want to be in charge of a portcullis. Because those things are incredibly heavy. Like, the whole deal is that you can't lift them. You, you yeah. can't lift them. Yeah. Um, so if you're in charge of the crank and you just do part of it wrong and you accidentally hit like the release lever and just drop the portcullis, the portcullis on some you know poor merchant, bad situation. I agree. I agree. Oh, it's a corpse. It's moldering. The stream looks clear, but there's a hint of unpleasantness about it. You know, it could be your imagination, but you don't want to take chances. Kick soldier into stream. <laughs> Eat corpse. Use corpse as suit. Although the blood <laughs> on the pillar shards has not yet faded, the corpse of the Silmarian guard is already rotting away. Pelt you soldier. You cannot see much left of the face to identify the corpse. Not that you would have known him if you could. He's already cold and stiff as a gravestone. That reminds me of an interesting and kind of fun fact. Um, the uh, city guardsmen who joined the King pageant way early on that died very quickly. Yeah, those fuckers. Uh, his name yeah. was, yeah, Co Coquino Pucamisa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His yeah. Name. yeah, yeah. And apparently that means red shirt. <laughs> so that is, uh, a, that is a very subtle uh, Star Trek reference. Very for nice. That didn't know that as a fact. Very cool. I, I, hey, I never noticed this, but around the border, there's wheat. <laughs> You're right. There is wheat around oh, the this, border. Yeah. Wheat. yeah. Did you guys notice the translucent wheat. wheat? I noticed that there was a border, and I noticed that there was a texture on the border, but I never really registered it as wheat. It's Listen. a border of ghost wheat. It's ghost wheat. Ghost wheat. Listen, guys, I have Sorry, to Sorry, I forgot you. to pronounce one of the H's. Ghost wheat. Ghost wheat. Ghost wheat. Ghost wheat. I promise you, I am not on anything. I'm not drinking anything. I'm just. It's been a week. It's been, and my brain is not just on hard. anything that isn't prescribed. Yeah, yeah. I, I swear to the viewers, every now and then, Matt and I are in different moods. Because <laughs> on these recordings, 
we're, we're both, for whatever reason, we've always had the same sort of week. <laughs> and we're the, we've, we, we come with a very similar attitude every yeah. time. Yeah. Like petulant children while yeah. Luke gets us all on track. Luke? It isn't always, I remember several occasions where Matt and I were in different moods, one from the other. Yeah. Not many, admittedly, Not many. but a few. It's happened. Uh, and, and here's the thing. No matter what kind of week Luke has, he's always the same. He's steadfast. Me? Stalwart. Yeah. yeah. Luke's a stalwart. I don't fella. know that that's strictly true. Well, you yeah, hide it. I better. try to be consistent. Your yeah. low bar of productivity is pretty high. Like, of, in terms of, like, functionality. <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah, you're good. I, you handle it. I make an effort. I figure, you know, if I'm going to be here and I'm going to have to, like, go and, and just, like, review the fruits of this labor later anyway. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's true. I would... Yeah, I would rather that I, you know, was not, like, just face-palming listening to my own bullshit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, hey, but you gotta face-palm listening to our bullshit, at least, you know? That's something. Yeah. At least you don't have to do it to yourself. It looks like the water of the stream flows directly into the center of the earth from here. No, Questabert, you're not particularly smart if you think that's happening. (laughs) Well, I guess we can't see it from his perspective. Maybe if we could, we'd look at that and say, Fuck, that goes right to the center of the earth. You solemnly intone the words you read at Delphi. All waters that flow on the earth flow to Hades. Alas, all life soon flows there too. The rest of the shit that I was supposed to read is gone. Does that mean you could just pop yourself in like an inner tube and just lazy your river, lazy river your way to to the underworld? No, I think you just die. I guess you would eventually die if you just lazy rivered yourself and did nothing. Yeah, but I think that's actually what we did. I think we actually just died. Oh, you, you think we just died, and I that's how we got I think we just died, here. and that's how we're in Hades. Look at that bitch in Skullgate. This looks like the humorous, but it's not very funny. This marble skull doesn't look very friendly. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. I like that that's not a particularly good rendering of a skull. No, I also like... Uh-oh. Oh, oh goodness. It's a swall. <laughs> look at his face. Hi, I'm Cerberus! Cerberus! <laughs> I make certain. I make certain no living enter Hades. The dead never leave. This three headed hound from Hades with its red glowing eyes appears to have all the sanity of a rabid dog. This would be terrifying, but he's a lot smaller than I thought he would be. <laughs> he's an order of magnitude smaller than I thought he would but be. But he's like, also, like, he is the size of us. Like, he's a little yeah, taller Yeah, like, he's, than he, he's a horse-sized dog. And if you were there in person and someone's like, hey, fight this giant dog, I'd be, no, you know, this bigger than a tiger. I'm not going to fight that thing. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, but it is it is way smaller than I thought it All would right. be. All right, well, let's talk to him. Let's see what he's about. Big for a dog, small for Cerberus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I feel that one could outflank you him. You are not welcome here. Well, this one has aspirations to the <laughs> opera, does it? All right, I'm good. Uh, hey. I have been since the dawn of time. I will be until the dusk of eternity. I am immortal. I was hoping that at least one of them was going to be like Scooby Doo. <laughs> yeah. Your wish is my command. <laughs> Hades is the abode of the dead. Their souls rest in the peace of oblivion. What's my process? <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. They're, too, they're talking too fast. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. Reaping the 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 right way to do this would be for each of us to voice one. Yes, you're right. That's true. Oh. 
we still would have just ended up tripping all over each other. Though. Yeah, no, there's, you know, we're not really it, skilled it enough to make that happen yeah, no. in one yeah. take, you yeah. know. We're also not, like, perfectly synchronized either, so. All right, tell us about the dead doggo. The souls of the good are gathered within to enjoy the peace that they deserve. The souls of evil are punished or doomed to eternal wandering. Even the best souls are not at rest. Some seek to live again. Okay, that's even better. They're all singing except one of them can't. Oh, uh, you got you got like uh, you got the middle one's a baritone and the third one sucks. It's just great. The third one's a little more Bobcat Goldthwait than uh, Scooby Doo, but I'm I'm here for yeah, it. I got, yeah, I got yeah. That's more fun to do than Scooby Doo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure. <clears throat> No one alive shall enter here. <laughs> Said, or they disturb me. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure, I've heard that before. All I want is a little sticks water. I won't bother anything else. And then they try to bring someone back to life. You don't fool me. You won't get past me unless you first die <laughs> or come up with a suitable bribe. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this is like, and this is really saying something. This is easily the most frustrating monster that we've met. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But like that, the the singing really adds a level of frustration. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a taco. Now that's what I call a bribe. It's got cucumbers. I'll be burping all night. It's got onions. I've bad enough living with your dog breath. Share and share alike. You got something better than that for me. What about me? Don't like you, yummy bribe. <laughs> oh, lemon grab. That was a weird <laughs> choice. <laughs> <laughs> Especially nowadays, eh? Yes. Hmm, <laughs> now that's what I call a bribe. That greasy thing, yeah. I'm gonna have indigestion, you realize? Oh, it's interesting. They've got independent sentience, even though they only have one stomach. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good. Give the dog chocolates. Yeah, that's what I call a bribe. <clears throat> hey, that stuff is bad for... Oh, sorry, bad for dogs. I'm immortal, remember? <laughs> Fuck! It's bad for the teeth. Oh, I got a sweet tooth so soon. Mmm, <clears throat> this is very... Mmm. <laughs> That's in my mouth. I love that the stupid head ate it. Yeah. Like, yeah. we couldn't have planned that. Couldn't have planned that. I do, I do appreciate that... Um... The, uh, uh, they did address the fact that you're giving chocolate to a dog, and they said, "No, I'm immortal. It's okay." Yeah, no, that's yeah. You're right. You're right. I appreciate I appreciate them making that that point. Yeah, it would have been a little too off. Oh, awesome. Hello, I am a Lemur. Lemur is my name Matt, is Bob Lemur. Matt, <laughs> Matt and Luke know this about me, but one of my favorite all-time fantasy monsters. Human skeleton. <laughs> Easily. <laughs> oh, yeah. You love them. They're one of the best fantasy monsters, for sure. You call them what you want. But we know. Yeah, man. Uh, hi, you I'm... You need to dumb. do anything else. Like, One day I'm going to get me one of those anatomy skeletons. Just to have yeah. in my home and put hats on. I was say, you know, if you're like, one day I'm going to get myself a skeleton. Like, dude, you already have one. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna get a skeleton outside of my body to look at. You're gonna get an extra skeleton. Extra skeletons. Oh, speaking of extra skeletons, we have some <laughs> uh, questions for Glory. Questions for glory. I'll, I'll allow it. Glory. Glory. Well, because they were made by people yeah. who have skeletons. Yeah. And they're extra skeletons. Theor yeah. Theoretically. Like us. Yeah. We don't know. Hey, make sure you comment down below if you don't have a skeleton. <laughs> you only really own your bones while you're alive, though. 
Yeah, that's true. Like, <laughs> like you'd think that your skull is a possession that you could leave to a loved one. Because, like, I've always thought it'd be cool to own a human skull, but it's a little uncool because, like, that person didn't give you permission to own their skull. But if you put it in your will, like, hey, scoop out my skull, you know, scrape all that meat off, keep it on your mantle, it's cool, it'll be great. I'd love to be a decoration for a hundred years. Uh, <laughs> You're sort of not allowed to do that anyway. You no. sort of lose rights to your corpse as soon as you die. Yeah. You're sort of just borrowing your skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> You're borrowing it from, you know, the... I was going to say the worms that will eventually eat it, but they won't even. No. No. It's just a bunch of calcified garbage just clanking around in there, holding you together. <laughs> oh, all right. Mains there is pretty hard to see. And he's got a different colored forehead magic from us. Bill Mains. Ah! Wow. He forehead magic me to death. Oh shit, I'm missing something, right? It's I? fine. It's it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, oh, it was oh, sort of died. like a <laughs> It was sort of an awesome yet stupid like wizard duel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah, here I am. Ah. Oh, I'm fucking dead. Forehead magic. The aching cold of the undead manes fills your body with aches and pains. What you gonna do? What you gonna say? You gonna get warm. Okay? I love that all the devils are just color-swapped skeletons and one has horns. Yeah. It, it's a great use of the 3D medium. Yeah, it's true. Uh, like, like nowadays, if you did this in a game, people would be like, "That's just a color swap." You know, you just reskinned it. This is, you know, pretty early three D shit. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, we got a, we got some questions for Glory. Did we play the theme already? I don't know. Yeah, we did. We did. Oh, we did. Okay, I, I put it there. Yeah. Yeah. See, I don't, I don't know because we don't have that live. <laughs> Um, okay. <laughs> I add that in later. That go. never fails to comment that we can't hear the theme songs <laughs> as they play. Like, there's that just that, that, that one little bit of magic that we could give to you, the viewers, and Matt never fails to take it away. I think it's because I actually resent not being able to hear it live. It's true. It's true. The yeah. petulance is real. It yeah. comes from a real place. Yeah. How do I get down? I... Uh, I levitated incorrectly. So, <laughs> oh, what oh, a way to die! Oh, oh, oh what? Well, I mean, I, I know that there's a way to get down. I just forget what it is. Uh, strategy and snark asks. I gotta, I gotta load anyway. That's so. fine. That's fine. We've we've done this. Uh, this is the this second time through. Third time now. We'll be, we'll be fine. Uh, strategy and snark says. Uh, uh, so if I put enough questions for glory here, then the series just never has to end, right? That's an interesting point. Yeah. I mean, if you Like, put... if we got an infinite number of questions, theoretically, we'd need an infinite amount of time to answer them. Even Absolutely. If we answered, even if we devoted one second each to each question. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, true. But at that point, this would become a profitable venture. <laughs> yeah, I guess. An infinite amount of time. We're bound to make some profit. Yeah, if you want us to be, like, a little annoyed forever... <laughs> then, yeah, just produce an infinite number of questions for us to answer. Because on some level, that means we have infinite viewership. <laughs> <laughs> and YouTube will have to start financing this, I guess. Okay, uh, question for Glory. Piggybacking on Elsa's curse of being the brigand leader and actually being, actually being pretty great for her, what nominally negative curse would you be happy to carry? Curse can be broken at some point, but you carry the ability slash experience with you into your uncursed life? That's a great question for Glory. It's a fucking great question for Glory. Uh, an interesting one might be the inability to tell the truth because uh, you could just like try saying things and thereby learn the truth. Oh. <laughs> Whatever you say can't be true, right? So like, it'd be really annoying. But once your friends figure it out that you just have stupid, bizarro speech, you know, your your loyal friends with a high tolerance for bullshit. Like, Luke would stick with us if we had that curse. Yeah, yeah. It's only, we're only going to be a little more annoying than normal. Yeah. <laughs> but the, it, might be, make, it, it might make the workplace a little bit more difficult, to be fair. Because uh, if, if the curse was that you could only lie, that would be one thing, right? But if yeah. the curse is that you can't speak the truth... 
then you could just say something and kind of know whether it was true or not, or you could use it as a kind of divination. Yeah. 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 I'm trying to think of the upside of of, of some curses. Uh, what are some common curses, you know? Yeah, I'm trying to blank. Uh, the, the classic one of, like, things you touch turn into gold, and the obvious downside being you might have loved ones, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, that you might would... want to eat food that's not gold. Yeah. But you'd have an infinite amount of gold. Like, you'd have to live, like, carefully and occasionally sadly. But if you had infinite gold, you could do a lot of shit with it. If you Most, most like, curses in, in, like, real life are just, you know, bad luck. <laughs> You know, that's true. But like, if you go for actual like fictional curses, you know, um, like a physical defect is a big popular one. You know, like ugliness. <laughs> yeah, if the curse can be gotten rid of at some point, yeah, then all sorts of curses could have their uh, benefits. You know? Yeah. Like, like, let's say you had a curse that made you hideous. Yeah. Right? And then just, like, for a few years, you're just truly hideous. Just ghastly to look at. And you just you make as many friends as you can. You, you just live as normal a life as you can. Being just, like, eye-wateringly hideous. Uh, you know, a hauntingly ugly person. And then at the end of it, everyone who stuck with you was rewarded by you becoming, like, a normal person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's true. Um, like any sort of curse that involves like pain once it goes away you'd have such a lust for life you'd have an incredible pain tolerance yeah or like like the the brigand example if you uh had a were under a curse that turned you into a criminal mastermind oh this is bad oh this is bad jesus Luke is literally fighting our way through fighting his way through hell while Matt and I speculate <laughs> So like let's That's say fine. you got turned into a I'm let's, enjoying this. Let, let's say you got turned into a bandit chief and you had to like rule through fear and like keep a bunch of brigands in line and like make that a profitable venture. You'd have a lot of really useful life skills when that eventually went away and potentially a lot of treasure. Fuck me, those mains. Yeah. This is what it feels like to do that to people, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think, I think, yeah, the, the, your, your, your whole, uh, if you could do, like, be cursed that everything you touch turns to gold and then you were cured of that. <laughs> That's pretty you could strange. just get a lot of gold. Oh, like King Midas's curse. Yeah, like King Midas's curse. You just, you don't touch anyone for as long as you have it, and then you... It would be a lonely time. It would be, but then, you know, at the end of it all, you would, you would, you'd never have to be lonely again. You know, because you'd have a yacht. Also, <laughs> I understand when you if, have a yacht. If you, uh, a lot of curses, like, could potentially involve you accidentally killing people. Yeah. Let's not forget that it might be useful to be able to intentionally kill someone <laughs> by touching them and turning them to gold. Oh, And then melting yeah. that gold. Yeah, no, that's fair. Because one of the main logistical difficulties in killing someone is getting away with it. But if they literally turn to gold, and then you melt that gold into ingots, that person is just gone. No forensics lab in the world is going to be able to tie you to that. That's going to be a boring and disappointing episode of CSI, where they just <laughs> never figure it out. Is there, a, is there an upside to everybody hating you, Curse? It's tough. Like, it's hard to imagine how that would go away. I guess some people would feel bad, like, you know, um... <laughs> Like that, like, you know, the 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 U.S. government keeps attacking you with drones because they hate you magically <laughs> for years, and then later they have to make reparations because it turns out they were under a genie curse and they wasted a bunch of taxpayer money trying to drone you. Yeah, yeah, because that that's what governments do; they make reparations. <laughs> yeah, I, like that's all I can think of is that somebody apologizes later when they realize they were wrong about you because they were under a genie curse. But even then. They were under a genie curse. Like, how is that their fault? It's not their fault. Yeah. No, it's true. 
Okay. Yeah. Also, we're clearly doing this on purpose. We're acquiring curses to exploit them. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> are we are we are we mount dooming that ring right now? No, no. We we need to dip it in the river sticks, but not uh, not get rid of it. All right. The main uh, Joseph Davies, question for Glory: If you had to wear a magical helmet and body armor, which 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 both glow and make a rhythmic woom, woom sound, which would you prefer long term wear? The pulsing of both items to be a hundred percent always in sync, or slightly out of sync? <laughs> I think if I had to deal with a constant thrumming like that, I would prefer. Uh, for it to be synchronized because if it was out of sync it would be harder to ignore long term I think yeah yeah and I, I but I also think that the only one you're gonna hear is your fucking helmet because <laughs> it's gonna be oh clash of titans oh yeah oh, he won oh a what a dick what a dick a yeah because you know in your helmet all you're gonna hear is <laughs> Oh, that's good yeah, tape right there. That could, that could get rough. <laughs> yeah, like all the time. I, so, I, in I, the spirit of the question, for whatever reason, we can hear them both. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Even if the helmet would logically be louder, the spirit of the question is we're hearing both. Sure, uh, yeah. Okay. Even when you're not wearing, you'd probably be hearing it. You'd be right? hearing it. Uh, it's a tough question to answer. I think if they were in sync, you would have one repeated noise that you could let fade into the background. Uh, if they were out of sync, you would hear them like windshield wipers on a bus, just gradually going in and out of sync. Um, going back through my memories of like being on a long bus ride and watching the wipers drift in and out of sync, I don't recall being annoyed by that. There's something about like feeling the passage of time. And I think you know? I think it actually would be quite. Yeah, I, I agree. Actually, I think I'd rather have them a little bit out of sync. There might be something reassuring about yeah. that moment where they're in sync and just realizing that, like, you, you, you know, time, you wait for that. Yeah. You wait for that moment. Yeah. Time time has passed. There's a, bit, a little bit satisfying nature to it. And also, like, there's there's an odd, like, meandering rhythm. Oh, yeah. We, we're quicker on the draw this time. Yeah. We, yeah. Oh. Not, not, not enough. Fuck. I love that question. Uh, I, I don't have a concise answer. I'd want to be able to experiment with it first to see which was the least annoying. <laughs> I think slightly out of sync is my answer, but yeah, I think it would... I don't... I, don't, I think it would be annoying no matter what, but what would be more... It would get hard to tune out pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. yeah. What, what might be less annoying, though, is, like, if you actually needed that armor in your day-to-day -day life, the wom-wom of it might be a little soothing, contextually. Yeah. Right? Whatever else is going on, hearing... And, like... That wum 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 would be punctuated by like an arrow glancing harmlessly off of your magical helmet. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, I think victory against the mains is predicated on whether he does his thing or not. Yeah, he, he if he, when they do a different spell, it doesn't really. Uh, look at that floating skeleton. Look at him floating yeah, away. He's Oh, no, never mind. He's coming at us. <laughs> That's a shade. I thought he was just floating in the water, and I thought that was charming. <laughs> Give up. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, oh God. No, he didn't. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> He's taking pot shots at us. I'm, uh, I'm a little disconcerted that I cannot locate the point of the river sticks that I need to dip my ring into, however. You just haven't gone far and enough. also gather from, gather into the amphora. Well, I have, though, I'm pretty sure. Remember, push it. Push it to the extreme. Hmm? You know? Radical. Uh, good good okay. advice, I'm Matt. Gonna... Juicy hacks. You know? Guitar noise. Yeah. Well, I've killed the creatures, I've killed the creatures in here, and this doesn't have some kind of like additional wave spawning thing so the souls um, of the damned are surprisingly finite here in hell yeah you know it's just a little corner of hell that's true place probably goes on forever just a wee corner yeah. of hell also like i assume like 
the, the, these are the ones that the kind of slip through the cracks of the whole underworld system. Like, they're not supposed <laughs> to be hanging around here. They're supposed no, to either be I'm alive or dead. Uh, we should cut this off. We'll start with the, with the address's question for glory when we come back. Okay. You know. We'll, we'll, Consider it done. It, yeah, let's do it. All right, we'll see you in, in a few minutes, everybody. Unless it's like years from now and YouTube has gone down and this is the only one you found you were able to, to somehow digitally dig up. And there's just or the no world, end. Or the world ends between episodes. Like you watch one, you mm. go to click on the other mm. and the world ends. Yeah. And then even though there's no world, you become a ghost because of that unfinished business. Yeah. But like there's nothing for you to haunt because the world is gone. Yeah. And like there's no such thing as YouTube or us anymore. It's just a ghost. I'm, just like with no link to click on. I'm really wondering glad, what's going to happen. I'm really glad you added that because I think a very important part of this is still existing with the pain of knowing you can't know what happens next. And I'm so glad you added the ghost part because yeah, that's really important to me. Yeah, yeah, and it's weird because like lots of people you'd think would have bigger unfinished business, but there are also no other ghosts to talk to. It's just <laughs> you in an agonizing solitary yeah. existence. Yeah. In the nothingness of space. And to be clear, we're not hoping this for you. We're just no, no goodness, no. Yeah, no, we're just, you know, that's a, that's just a, you know, a theoretical thing we just thought of, you know. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Just a horrible thought experiment. <laughs> see you guys in a minute. Okay, I walked. I walked too far. Okay. Bye.